pulls back to third place by uh, Martinez. So it's Tokodomi, Martinez, then Rossi, then Perugini. And here comes Rossi, looking for the inside line. Martinez hangs on to the lead and Tokodomi. Rossi on the inside, dives through to go ahead of Tokodomi. Non è stata una gran partenza per Rossi, bene Sakata. E dentro adesso passa in terza posizione, ha infilato Sakata. Velocissimo in questa fase l'italiano che all'esterno passa anche Gary McCoy. Curve verso la bandiera a scacchi con Manaco e Sakata che fanno il possibile per rubargli la scia Rossi. Rossi scrolla la moto e va a vincere. Successo incredibile quando a cinque giri dalla fine sembrava davvero tutto finito. Allora avevo due problemi grandi. Il motore che non era molto veloce. Dutch TT is underway. Not a great start for Rossi from that front row, was it? Going into turn one, that's where the four strokes will be strongest. It seems as though, to me, he's been sandbagging, surely. Well, we're going to watch Rossi cross the line. Usual style as he wheelies out of the final case. If he had a bit of a wrist problem, there's just something stuck in his rear uh, tyre there. He is flying. He's leading the World Championship. It's Valentino Rossi. The Valentino Rossi wins his sixth Grand Prix of the year. Now, poi dietro Melandri, Nakano e Barros parte bene Ceca, benissimo Ceca. Rossi è all'esterno eh, per, per la prima curva, per la prima voltata. Gibernavi già in seconda posizione, in lotta con Barros e Rossi. Edwards in decima, Nakano in undicesima, Bayliss dodici, Aiden tredicesima, Tamada ha superato Kenny Roberts ed è in quattordicesima posizione. A record di Valentino Rossi. Povero Barros. Mamma mia, dietro, 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 so then, this is the battle for the lead. We're on board and Rossi looking out and see what's going on. The battle further back between that Ducati and the Kawasaki was interesting because they were in real trouble with those Bridgestones at the end of the last race in, uh, in Catalonia. Eight seconds off the pace in one lap, they're in real trouble. But here are the trio leading this Grand Prix. Is it Melandri still? Yes, it is, but now it's Rossi behind him. And now he is going to be passed by Valentino Rossi, who won here in 97 on the 125. Now Rossi has hit the front.
Waarom is Rossi zo bijzonder? Dat is uh, ja, een fantastische rijder. Die heeft de MotoGP gewoon groot gemaakt. En wij kijken in de graag. Uh, ja, ik vind gewoon een goede, goede jongen. Ook na twee slechte jaren bij Ducati? Ja, absoluut. Het blijft geweldig. Alles gewonnen wat er te winnen valt. 46 uh, wedstrijden geleden heeft hij voor het laatst gewonnen. Dus het zal fantastisch zijn als het nu weer hier in Assen gebeurt. Jullie hebben het georganiseerd? Wij organiseren deze tribune. Voor het hoeveelste jaar nu? Vijfde jaar. En een groot succes hè? Absoluut. En nou nog winnen vanmiddag en dan is het helemaal klaar. Altijd bommetje vol. Bommetje vol en groot feest. Ja, hoe komt het nou dat iedereen juist nu ervan overtuigd is dat Rossi vanmiddag gaat winnen? Uh, nou ja, goed, hij is al een tijdje in vorm natuurlijk. We hebben een beetje pech gehad uh, voorgaande races. Ja, als is zijn circuit, dus uh, als het ergens gaat gebeuren, dan, uh, dan is het hier. Absoluut. So now the, the life uh, for us uh, is not completely normal, but anyway, it's a lot better. We can train and also we can ride the bike. So we are, uh, uh, we are back, we are happy and we try to, to be ready uh, when and if the, champion, the championship restarts.